after the tunnels were blocked mm -hmm. and after uh, COVID ended, actually, we started to see Hezbollah much more on the border. Right. It was truly unbelievable. I was on the border one of these days that everything was empty and all, all of a sudden I saw them. They didn't come because of me. They were just there. This is a patrol of commanders. And this person is actually pointing at some st stuff on the border, showing them the sector. Actually, you know, learning the area. Here you can see Hezbollah military position. He's standing on top. I mean, how, so you saw this. How, I filmed this. It's part of the video that I took. When, so when you... This is last May. When you notice this, I mean, I, just from a humanizing point of view, how are you, how are you reacting yourself? Like, how are you feeling? <laughs> I send you the video. You will hear my voice. Mm -hmm. I was with my husband. It wasn't even a professional tour for me. I didn't take sure. anybody. It was just, uh, you know, we decided just to go because my husband told me, okay, today uh, it's just the two of us. Yeah. Take me to see. You're saying there is Hezbollah on the border. I want to see them. <laughs> take me to see them. And nice, I took a him. nice quiet afternoon out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Morning. Yeah. You know, I saw them so many times. Mm -hmm. I filmed them so many times. Really, so many times in the past two years. Each time it was... Um, overwhelming. I don't know what's the right word in English. Right. It was to look at the enemy in the eyes. Mm -hmm. This guy took photos of me. He just appeared from, from the bushes, out of the bushes. Oh. And he was wearing uniforms. He was wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. I was in pretty much hidden place, but it was clear that he can see me. Uh, he was just below this high up tower, this position of Hezbollah. Each time it, it was shocking again and again and again. You know, after I went back from this tour, mm -hmm. I, called, I called my staff and I told them, each time they are coming with a camera, right. one day they will come with the anti-tank. Yeah. I felt that the, the, the tension is raising, and I felt that we are on the edge of war. We are on the edge of an attack. We wrote that in our assessment in the Alma Center, and we explained the strategic reasons mm -hmm. for that, because you know we saw the connection between what is happening at the zone, the preparations of Hezbollah, mm -hmm. And at the same time, we saw the strategic situa situation of Iran. We saw the normalization agreement between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. We saw the fact that Iran gained kind of level of preparedness mm -hmm. with the Houthis, with the, Sy the Syrian and Iraqi militias, everything that you, you see today that already happening. We saw the preparations for this campaign. And that's why we felt that we are on the verge of war. And sure. we said that what we missed is that we didn't research Hamas. Mm -hmm. Alma Center is all about the north. Mm -hmm. And we didn't anticipate that it will start from the south. Right. And there is a discussion inside Alma Center whether uh, Hezbollah was surprised or it's all part of a major plan. 